Personal responsibility requires personal freedom. This is a follow-up to my video about personal responsibility, and it's going to address the other side of that coin, which is personal freedom, and how these two are completely interrelated. You cannot have the expectation of personal responsibility without a certain level of personal freedom. Let me explain that. You cannot sit there and tell people that they are responsible for themselves. Like, oh, if you injure yourself, well, you would better have your own insurance, you better take care of yourself and all this stuff, and your health is your own responsibility for the most part. You can't give all of these things to people and then not give them the freedom to enjoy the counterpoint to that, which is you've said their body is their responsibility. That necessarily opens up the gateway to them choosing to be irresponsible with their body in a controlled manner, aka let's say the use of drugs. If someone has the personal responsibility as deemed by society for themselves, their actions, and the state of their health, then you have given them the right to to enjoy the limited destruction of themselves, really, or even the total. At that point, honestly, you should be allowed to commit suicide. I mean, you are responsible for yourself, right? Your actions are your own. This goes both ways. If you inject heroin into yourself, that is your own action. And as long as no one else is getting hurt, no one has the right to say anything because not only of just freedom as an idea in total, but because of the personal responsibilities that, as I keep addressing, have been given, or in a way you could say forced, but I'll say given, have been given to us by society, where as an adult we're expected to do all of these things. These responsibilities are laid out on us, and I mean, to a point you can say, yeah, sure, there is public health care, like if you're severely injured, the hospital has to treat you and everything, but they're still sticking you with that bill. You are still responsible for covering the results of these injuries. And sure, yes, there's financial aid and everything, but you can't tell me that personal responsibility and accountability is not a major theme of at least American society, if not most of the world. And with that in mind, we have to allow the personal freedoms that come with this expectation of responsibility. I'm responsible for myself, then I'm responsible for what I do to myself. And whatever choices that leads to, if it causes harm to me, that's my responsibility. If it causes harm to another, it's still my responsibility. I may have been on drugs. I chose to do the drugs, which means that I'm culpable in the events that happen. There's the personal responsibility coming back into it. Even when exercising your freedoms, you do still have the expectation of responsibility. Like I said, they're completely interconnected. Taking the freedoms from your responsibilities should be done in a limited manner. Your responsibility should be respected. But you should also enjoy the freedoms that come with having that responsibility. And anyone who tries to tell you that you only have responsibilities and no freedoms, well, you can laugh at them and enjoy your life. Just something to think about.